Hey, what's going on gamers? It's Ryan six days a week, and if you've been playing Dark and Darker for some time now, then you've probably died to every skeleton type at least once. I know I have. This guide is to show you how to reliably dodge each skeleton type so you can always take on your PvP encounters with full health. First, we'll start with a basic footman and guardian, as you've probably already intuitively picked up the backpedal strategy. Walk forward, bait the attack, and then step back to dodge, and return attack after that. Just a tip here, if you are in heavier armor, you can actually turn 90 degrees and strafe in the backwards direction to move faster. Side strafe speed is equal to forward running speed in Dark and Darker, so your movement is only really penalized when you hit the S key. Next, we have the Zweihander Skeleton. This one is fairly simple, but it does appear pretty threatening as it has long reaching, cleaving attacks. To reliably dodge this one, you can actually hug the skeleton, crouch, and simply look up or down to avoid each swing. Just remember that if the Zweihander Skeleton is attacking from your left, or counterclockwise, it will quickly have a follow-up attack from the right. Up next, the Felling Axe Skeleton. This skeleton will punish those who try to backstep, so do your best to avoid that. First, to dodge the overhead attack, you can strafe towards the skeleton to either side of its body. Do not try to run away. This is a lunging attack. I suggest making a habit to go to the left side since there's a second attack that is a clockwise swing and can also be dodged by strafing forward and to the left. So basically, you can use the same movement to dodge both attacks. Now, the Skeleton Spearman. This one is particularly tricky since you'll need to be able to read the attacks. The overhead swing and the stab can be sidestepped easily to the right, and sometimes to the left if you have high enough movement speed. The clockwise swing, however, must be dodged to the left and actually a bit past the skeleton, since the arc of the swing exceeds 180 degrees. Honestly though, if you do happen to be a melee class and stuck close with one of these skeletons, it's probably better to just tank the clockwise swings and continue damaging down the skeleton. Jumping will help too, as will make sure the swing hits your legs instead of your body or head. Finally, the ranged skeletons. If you're far from the skeleton bowman, you may simply just strafe in one direction, as you get closer, you may need to crouch under the arrows. A good timing tip is to watch the elbow of the hand drawing the bowstring. As soon as it stops moving, crouch. For the occasional follow-up attack, or attacks in the case of the Nightmare version, just be prepared to jump to the side. These additional shots aim at the body instead of the head, but trying to duck them may result in more damage. The crossbow skeleton is similar. At a distance, just continue to strafe. If you find yourself close or in a narrow hallway where strafing isn't possible, duck and throw your head back by looking at the ceiling. The projectile moves a lot faster and it's a little more difficult to simply crouch under. So by looking up, you can make sure the bolt hits your body or legs as your head will be behind them in relation to the skeleton. I hope this video was helpful, and the same mechanics can actually be used for the more advanced variants of the skeletons too. Just know that the timings will be tighter. So be sure to play on a server that gives you the best and lowest latency. Alright, thanks as always for watching, and please comment below if you have any questions on the techniques used in this video, or improvements that you found. Oh, and if you have a question that needs an immediate answer, please feel free to ask me live, as I'm probably playing right now. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.